Hi everybody and welcome to Intro to Computer Applications. Uh, my name is Debbie Sorrentino. I'm the instructor for your class and in this video I'm going to give you an overview of our course, what, where to find things, what to expect, um, all kinds of information. So let's get started. When you um, enter our course you'll always land on the home page. Um, I'm I'll post announcements a few different times a week so make sure you're aware of the announcements. This section here just shows you like the first line of the announcement so you can click here just on the announcement to see more and you'll see a whole list of announcements. You can also click on this course announcement link as well. Um, here is a link to your T Wolves email. I can't stress enough if you're taking an online class you have to check your T Wolves email three to four times a week. It is the only way I can contact you. If you have, um, if I have questions or concerns, um, if I need to ask you a question about your project submission, um, anything, um, if I'm missing something from you, you, I need to contact you, and you have to be checking your email. Uh, Starfish is it, it's like a um, an, uh, a retention type of software to help you with your academic performance. You can set up an appointment with your instructors or your um, advisors. You can get tutoring help, all kinds of information. So you can click on the student flyer here to find out more. These are all the NCCC policies on um, attendance, accessibility services, um, computer labs on campus, all kinds of things you can look through here. Um, we are using in this class um, Atomic Learn, or who knew it? It's called now. Um, it was formerly called Atomic Learning. This will bring you into all of the videos. You probably don't have to use this link because we will um, be, I'm going to give you direct links to go into um, who knew it from the course modules. And this is um, lynda.com. There's lots of great uh, tutorials on computer applications out here, and it's free to NCCC students. So you log on with your T-Wolves username and, e um, and password if you're interested in that. So that's our home page. Um, here is where you start in the course. This will give you information about how to go to the NCCC e-learning student orientation. If this is your first online course, you really should do this. It will give you information that will be very helpful to you and um, really improve your online learning experience and make you more um, efficient, really. Um, and then we're going to come over to our course information documents. Okay, um, I do want you to read this, so I'm going to let you go through this um, and uh, on your own, at your own pace, but and we're going to move into the course information documents here. And notice, three times a week, preferably more, check your announcement, check your email, and check your calendar. Okay, so this is where we have a lot of important information about the course. Um, you can read the welcome document here. Um, this is the video that you're watching right now. This is our course syllabus. I'm going to open this up. Uh, let me do this version. I provide both a Word and a PDF version of some of these documents so you can use um, whichever you prefer. Okay, so you should read this document carefully, um, but I'm just going to go through some of the highlights. My contact information. Um, the course materials. You don't have to purchase a textbook. I'm going to be using the Who Knew It by Atomic Learning videos and some other free educational resources. So there's no textbook. Um, the software required, you know, you have to be able to read a PDF file. And, and we will be using Office 2016, which you can obtain for free from NCCC. And I will provide you with instructions on how to do that within one of the learning modules. Um, so I'll let you read the description, the student learning outcomes. There's more here on what an online course is and the course attendance. But here's how you earn your grade. 15% of your grade is based on the discussions. 
So you'll be required to post a response to the discussion question and then respond to other students. Um, I will give you a grading rubric so you know how you be graded. Uh, discussions are not accepted late, right? They have to be submitted by the due date. Lots of students, you know, just kind of forget about an online course and three or four days later, you know, post something. You have to be posting when the other students are posting. Um, so be aware of the schedule. You can post early so you don't forget. All right, quizzes will be open for 24 hours. Um, they'll be, you know, if you, um, when you look at the course calendar, the course schedule, you'll see all the due dates. You can take them anytime during that 48 hour period, but you have to take them when they're scheduled. And I do drop the lowest quiz grade. Um, assignments are gonna be posted um, in most of the modules, some type of assignment. They are not accepted late. And the projects. Um, projects are the one thing that I will accept late with a 5% per weekday late penalty. No projects accepted one week after the due date. Sometimes students struggle a little and they need a little help um, when it gets close to the due date. And um, so that's the reason why. Um, so please be aware that nothing is accepted late except for the projects. And if they are late, there is a late penalty. Uh, you can read the grading scale, um, what's expected of you, um, and what you can expect from me, and I'll let you read through that document. I don't need to read the whole document to you. Uh, very important. We have a course schedule that must be followed. This is probably the most important document here. So make sure that you put it someplace um, where you have access to it, whether it's on your phone, whether you make a hard copy of it and put it someplace or put the dates on your calendar. Um, you can see here there's a lot of different due dates that you have to be aware of. Um, I tried to keep it consistent. The discussion posts the assignments and you should finish your lecture videos up by Friday. The discussion responses and the projects are due on Monday. The quizzes will be, you'll have Monday through Tuesday to complete those. So throughout the class, I try to keep the dates consistent um, to help you remember. Um, here's instructions on building your Blackboard profile um, and the disability disclosure, which explains if you have any type of disability, um, what you need to do to get the services that you need at NCCC. So if you have any questions on that, I'm happy to accommodate you. Just let me know. Uh, this is an activity, this academic integrity at NCCC, it's a one question. You read a little paragraph, you answer a question. If you don't do it, you cannot participate in this course. And then your next steps, you can read this, but we'll tell you to move into your first module. Okay, so then, and this is where we go most of the time into the learning modules. Um, this just tells you to make sure you watch this video before you go any further. Okay, um, and our first module is icebreaker activities. Now, I'm not going to talk about that because inside of the first module, there's a short video that explains the module. So let's take a look at what else is on our course menu. Um, in addition to the hard copy of the calendar or the schedule, um, I do have the due dates also posted here in the calendar. Um, so you can take a look at that if that's helpful. Uh, your grades, this will always uh, kind of tell you where you stand. If you read through the course syllabus, um, you know, I'll tell you in there, most of the times I grade things um, like discussions and assignments within probably two to three days. Projects will sometimes take me longer, up to a week, um, to complete a uh, grade a project. But as soon as I graded it, everything will be available in that link. Uh, this again is your course announcements. Here's where you can send me an email. This is your link to Starfish. Um, and then there's a few things down here, some course resources. These are things sometimes students have questions on. 
um, you know, configuring your e, um, T Wolves email. I don't know, I have a tutorials here on Windows 10, creating an assignment on Blackboard, things like that. There's a link for Blackboard help. Um, we have an e learning student support center. And um, we have a support specialist, Christina. She's very helpful. So if you have any questions, you can contact her. You can also contact the Open SUNY Help Desk if you have questions um, or issues in Blackboard. And here's the link for the Open SUNY Help Desk as well. Uh, so that is a um, just kind of a overview of our class. I know it's a little long, but I think it's important um, to kind of go over these things at the beginning of the class. I answer emails all the time. Um, if you have any questions, concerns, comments, all you have to do is send me an email um, and let me know, and I'm happy to help. Okay, well, uh, I'm looking forward to a great semester.